author of Bomboy has been shortlisted for the Eti Salat Literary Prize. Founded last year, the Literature Prize is the very first pan-African literary prize created to recognize and reward debut fictional writers in uh, in, in Africa in general. She has been nominated with two other women writers. You may have heard of this, uh, this phenomenal writer, No Violet Bulawayo, and Karen Jennings as well. The winner will be announced later on this month in Nigeria. But to tell us more, we are joined in studio by the shortlisted amazing author and uh, also to talk a little bit more about her book, Bomboy. We've got uh, Yowando Motsa in here in studio. Good to yeah. have you. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you very much. Congratulations, first and foremost. I mean, this is a massive accolade for you. Uh, it's, it's a real honor. You know, I'm thrilled. Yeah. I, can't, I can't pretend. I, I, I'm sure not. <laughs> and especially to be in the company of No Violet Polawayo and Karen Jennings, yeah. who really have done exceptionally well for themselves as well. They have. Both those books I've read. Uh, both of them I've had a chance to meet. In a funny twist, Karen actually edited Bomboy, so I've worked with her. Oh, fantastic. And, and Noviolet is incredibly talented, so yes. it, it is an honor. Oh, I'm so, I'm so happy for you. Um, your book was published last year. Do you know <laughs> when a book is, is going out there that, that, that there's something special about it? I, it's my first book, so I'm, you know, it's, I've been gre it's, I'm green, and it was published in 2011, actually. So yes. it's, it's been around for a while. And um, no, I mean, I had no idea. You know, okay. I conceived of it and wrote it as a master's degree. And then it, it was published and, and then stuff happened, you know. Yeah. It kind of goes that way. And I'm, I'm always surprised and, and thrilled. Yeah, I, I, I can imagine because, I mean, there are authors out there that have written one novel after the next novel after the next novel and they never get these accolades. This is your first book yeah. and you get this accolade. When did you start writing? I mean, when did this, this passion come inside of you? It's, it's always been there. My father's a, a writer and I grew up around a lot of books and my parents really encouraged me to read, my brothers and I. So reading and literature has always been a part of my life and since I was really small I was you know, writing stories, making up stories. Uh, my brother would write plays and we'd perform in them. So it, it was just a way, of, a way of life and a way of expression. Yeah. Um, so it's something you've always done and your writing has I've always been done. an exception for you. Just tell us a little bit about Bomboy. What's it, what's it all about? Bomboy is about, the main, um, the main character is Leke. He's Bomboy. Bomboy is a term of endearment uh, that a parent might refer to their ba baby boy. Um, Leke is growing up in Cape Town. He's been adopted. He doesn't know his real parents. And he's, he's lived a very on the edge of society life. No friends, no real way of connecting. So he's a bit of a a pariah, mm -hmm. and a, an oddball, you know. Um, as he comes of age, he receives these letters from a father he never knew and never met. And the book is about him reading these letters and finding out about who he, where he's from. His father's Nigerian. Uh, what happened? His parents met and how come they didn't keep him? Yeah. So he finds out his own story. And the idea is that through finding out his story and his heritage, he, he gets grounded and, and comes into himself. So it's a coming of age in a way. That's a beautiful storyline. It's you. absolutely stunning. Where, where did it come from? I mean, I know that you, you your father was Nigerian. Mm. Your mother was uh, from the Caribbean. Yeah. You live here in South Africa. Yeah. Sounds like a bit, bit of something similar happening there. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> people always say, is that, you know, he's very odd. So people say, is that you? Yeah. You know, because he does all these weird things. And, you know, it's not me. But, but sure, it's, it's a story that I think is, is a common one, you know, with a lot of people moving to South Africa and living here and struggling with apparently being different and not fitting in, mm. uh, identity and culture clashes. So it, that is something that's familiar. I like the way you use the word apparently being different. Yeah. Because yeah. it's not yeah, exactly. really the case, no, is it? No, that's the point. That's yeah, the point. That and is the point. I, I want to hear where you, w where you were when you heard that you were actually being, you were being nominated for the anti select Prize. Where, where were you? Where did you hear this news? I was, so it's been two steps. There was a long list of nine novels and I, they announced that in December, you know, and I was, where was I? I was at home. I'd forgotten that Colleen, my publisher, Mojaji Books, had submitted the book. So I thought, oh, wow, you know, and I was thrilled. I, I think I was just at home and I heard the news and celebrated. The shortlist was announced in January. Um, and that was a real, it was, it was a really joyous moment. And yeah. a friend of mine who saw it put online kind of sent me a message. And that's how I found and out. And that's how you found yeah. out. It's amazing. Yeah. I mean, internationally, has this, has this book crossed the shores? Is it, is it overseas? The book is published in South Africa and it's published in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. It's available, you know, on Amazon and Kindle. So it's available all over the, you know, all over the world Absolutely. in a sense. But yeah. it's not 
published. Okay. It's only published in two, in two countries so far. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, it's quite a thing as an African writer to, to be published anywhere outside of the continent. It, it really takes something for whatever reason. Yeah, um, to, to get that. To get that. But I mean, having been nominated for something like this, will this do, obviously should do quite a bit I for your career. So. I think so. Yeah. I it's, think so. It's a very welcome thing to happen to me. I'm, I'm thrilled because since the nomination, a lot of, there's been a lot of interest, you know, British newspapers wanting to review the book suddenly, you know, so, so they'd never heard of it and said, okay, who is this and what is yeah. this? Let's read it. So it, 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 it's, a great, it's a great spotlight. And that's how it all starts. And, and this gives your second novel a great platform because I believe you already started working on your second novel. Yes, I, well, I've completed the manuscript of my second novel. And as I was saying, you know, it's, it's a whole industry that it goes into to, to before it lands up on a shelf in a bookshop. So the book is written and it's fingers crossed that it, that it comes out soon. Fantastic. Yeah. I mean, let, just finally, I mean, let's talk about your publisher as well, because mm. it's a small company yes. um, that, that sort of had the faith in you to publish your book. Totally. And it's not easy no, not as an all. author to get your book published. Yeah. I mean, I've seen uh, so many of my friends wanting to try and they have to rewrite it and then rewrite yeah. it again and it's not good enough. Then this. Yeah. I mean, you know, the opportunities for yeah. authors must be very difficult. They are, and I, I really applaud Mojaji Books. Colleen Higgs is the woman behind it. She's an independent publisher. She's not, a, she's not one of these massive you know, uh, publishing houses. And she, she takes a lot of risks. And she took one with me. She, she read the manuscript and said, okay, let's publish it. And yeah. I, I'll be forever really indebted to her wow. for that. Well, and here you sit, being nominated for the, the, the top accolade in literary writing uh, on the African continent. Mm. So that was a, a wonderful risk she took. Hey, Amen. Very worthwhile. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so listen, um, Bomb Boy, is it available in bookstores around South Africa, around yes, the Yes, definitely. Okay. It's in book stops, you know, and if it's, if it's not on the shelf, you can ask the person behind the desk. And it, it, the book is out there, so it can Excellent. be ordered. So they can order it and get you a copy. Yeah. Uh, Yawanda Omotso, we're so happy for you. Good luck. When are, the, when, are, when are the results announced? It's being announced on the 23rd of this month. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so it's very, very soon. Yes. 23rd yeah. of this month. Yeah. We'll keep a close eye on that for you and wish you all the best of luck. Thank you all very right, much. So uh, joining us here, Yawanda Omotso. So who has been nominated with two other women for the top literary award in Africa. So this is a fantastic accolade for her. And I'll have you know, this is her debut novel, Bomb Boy. So get your hands on a copy of this. I think you're going to want to read this to find out exactly why she deserves this accolade. All right.